Hello, in this tip of the week we're going to cover how to do some site work and quickly uh, use some fillets and also get some linear totals uh, quick and easy using uh, some Revit tools. Now Revit's different from AutoCAD. AutoCAD is an excellent tool for what it does. Uh, Revit's a database so it thinks of things differently. So when we create things in Revit we got to look at how's the database looking at it so we can actually get the data that we need. So sometimes it's just a rethinking of how we gather the information. So let's say I need to put a road, uh, I need to put some road work around here, maybe tracing, uh, let's say a site plan or something, a CAD plan. Now if you're tracing a CAD plan, a lot of times just hit the model line here, and then you have this pick option, okay? So if I had a line already laying down here, I hit this pick, I could pick on top of those lines and quickly actually um, trace everything. Now if I don't, I can come in here and just start putting line work down. Now as I'm putting line work down, I can turn on chain and I can turn on the radius, let's say 20 feet. So as I'm cruising along and I make that turn, you'll notice that Revit actually goes in there and puts that at 20 foot radius. So now I'll come at a different angle, let's say 135, and you see it puts a little radius in there. I'm going to come around over here like so, and we'll come down. And you see it's putting in those radiuses. Now what if it didn't put the radius in? Let's say I forgot or I just want to put some line work like so, and I know I want to put a radius here. Now, one of the other things we can do is we can add the radiuses after the fact. So let's actually put another one in here. Come hit CS for create similar. Put in a little piece here, and there we go. So I want to put a fill a radius here of maybe 40 feet. Another one of maybe 40 feet here. Again, the numbers are up to you. Start the model command, uh, model line command. Now a lot of people go to fill it and they fire this up. Now if you're from AutoCAD, there used to be on AutoCAD there's a fillet radius. Now when you look up here, there is no radius option. Uh, don't panic. Um, it's there, it's just, it's in Revit, it's just not in the same place you'd expect it to be. Revit looks at it as we're creating another segment. So being it's creating a segment, we're going to go to Architecture, Model Line. And this also works with other things too, uh, walls, etc. And here it is, it says Fillet Art. Uh, you pick two corners and it actually will fire it up. So I'm going to say give us radius. This time I'll type in 40 feet, give something different. Now I pick A and I pick B just like AutoCAD, see it puts a 40 foot radius in there. If we need to change it after the fact, we click and just type in 60 and it changes and cleans it up for us. So uh, some nice features there uh, using that tool. Now once we have that set up, we can actually offset this. Um, let's say the row's coming down, it's going to turn this way. Now by using the offset, I'm going to go to modify, I'll use offset. I'll set a distance, let's say 20 feet. All right, now I'm going to leave the copy on. I'm going to hover, and I'm, notice it's putting it there, and when I hit tab, hover, tab, tab, okay, I was hoping the tab would work on this, but it doesn't seem to be, cover, let's try that out, tab, there we go, so notice how it actually uh, jumped around there, one of the problems is sometimes you'll type in a number, let's say it offsets 25 feet, now, what I need to do, if I don't get outside the box, you'll notice that the tab doesn't work, so, you can hear it, well, I'm banging on the key, so what you do is click somewhere in space, okay, and activates the view, then you hover, tab, and you see how I can pop that in, so there's our 20 foot road. Um, if you wanted to have a center line down the road, I could hit it again, tab, and now I have two of these running down like so. It's looking like something on electric company from back when. I'll delete this. Okay, and I'm going to mirror these elements over. So I'm using some AutoCAD-esque tools here. Okay, mirror, pick axis, and we just pick and we mirror it out like that. So what we have is we actually have now we have this, this, this double road if you want to think of it that way. So that was an easy way to put that information in. Uh, the other question was, okay, now I need to um, go ahead and get a total here. So I'm going to grab this, drag this down here maybe, uh, just so we have some, I don't know, maybe something a little different. Okay, take this out and take that out. Now let's say, for instance, I need to know how long this one in the middle is. So it goes up and it goes over and it goes around. Now I could pick each one of these and it'll tell us there's one, okay, there's another, and now pull the control key down and pick both of them, uh, it, it seems to white it out. So now I'm kind of stuck. So we're going to talk about some options now to actually go ahead and get a length of this line. Now I could hand pick these and add them all up. Um, and that may work, but that would be kind of a pain in the butt. So is there a quick way I can get uh, a length on this without killing myself? Well, again, Revit's a database and it uses some linear objects and then we can quantify those linear objects. We could do two things. We could create a wall on top of here and then actually quantify that type of wall. 
we could make a flat wall that's 20 foot wide and 6 inches tall and we could use that and it would give us the volume it would also give us the total length uh, we just use a schedule to make that happen so uh, another way is to actually just use another linear object just for the moment uh, what about like railing so I've got this green line here and that's all it is a green line I'm going to fire up this railing tool and it says sketch path now does, it doesn't really matter what railing I'm using here just hand handrail rectangular doesn't matter now, once I pick that, Revit says, do you like a pick a path or draw it? Well, I'm going to hit pick path. Now, just like I did earlier, I'm going to hover over an element. Now, I'm going to pick out here just to make sure that I'm in the screen. Hover, tab, pick it. Okay, now, I'm going to hit finish, and it just put that in. And you're thinking, well, I don't need a rail that long. No, you don't, but notice there it is, 1,058 feet. That's how long that rail is. So if you're looking to just quickly get something, I know it's crazy, but that works. I delete it and off I go. So let's see what this line is. Again, five the railing, sketch path, cool, boom. Now we're going to pick, hover, tab, pick it, bam. Okay, hit escape once, hit finish. It's still highlighted. There's 13, and we'll do that again. Now, if you have a whole bunch of these, you got to add up. Uh, you could just go ahead and create a schedule. So I'll go ahead and pop another one in here, railing, uh, again, sketch path. I know. And I could have a real simple look railing that's pretty much just one little line. It could actually be a line. Okay? So you can create other tools. You have to sometimes think outside the box. So there it is, and finish. So now I have two rails. I want to add them together. Let's go to manage, excuse me, view. I want to view a schedule. Scheduling quantities. Now at this point you'll see lots and lots of stuff. You can use any of this stuff. You could use cable trays, you could use conduit, you could use ductwork whatever makes you happy. So scroll on down to the bottom and you see there's lots of stuff in here. So let's go railings. Railings, hit OK. Now within railings there's even subsets. Okay, So I'm just going to go railings. I hit OK. And then it's going to ask what do you want to know. I'm going to say let's get my, uh, how about a family name. There we go. And we'll go in here and get length. Alright, so it's going to put the family in. Let's just go type just for fun. Add the type in there. Move it up. At this point we hit OK. So that's listed out all the pieces. Notice they're not totaled yet. We'll just go to fields. Now we'll go to sorting and grouping. I'll say let's put in a sort them by type. Put a footer in there. Makes us all happy, happy. And then we have to go to formatting and say take all the lengths and calculate the totals. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's all your lengths. If you want to get a grand total, just maybe have more. Now you'll notice I have different types actually in the project, right? Oh, well, how can I tell which ones are what? Uh, don't panic. What you'll just do is you're going to go ahead and, and make your own type. So if I grab this, edit type, just duplicate one, duplicate it, and I'm going to call it, uh, let's say, length check, L check. That's all I'm using it for. There's my new L check. Hit OK. You'll notice that there's L check, and let's change him to an L check also. So this is just one way of quickly doing something down and dirty. It may not be the, the best way, but hey, it does the job go back to my schedule here. So we'll scroll down a little further and you'll see in here we have um, whoop, let's go down to schedules and that's going to be a railing schedule. So what we'll do is, so you got these different ones, right? Handrail, handrail, handrail. And so you're thinking, wait, how do I sort these out? So what we're going to do is go over here to fields, walk all the way over, filter, filter by, whoop, let's go back to fields, type, length, hit OK on that. So, well, and one of these will be right. I'm not, let's see what we got. We got the railing, okay, rectangular, balcony, pipe, rectangle, eye check. So there's our eye check right here. Uh, so we could filter them out, but for some reason, it doesn't look like we have a filter option there. We have filter by length. Nope. Let's go ahead and pick something else then. Fields. We could come in here and say filter by type mark. That's kind of a long way around it, but it'll work. Type mark. Now we'll just go back to our plan view, control tab, grab this guy edit type and we'll put a type mark in here just called check so let's scroll on down type mark ck go check and now we just want to filter out this to schedule so back into the railings and we have the filters now let's say filter by type mark let's try that again type mark equals drop this down to check hit ok that's filtered them out and there's just our check so this is just one of many ways you can use walls any linear element can be used just to check this stuff out. 
uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can create a little rail that's only very thin and it's pretty much just a linear object. If you draw that down to center of your roads, it'll continue giving you a total linear footage as you're making the changes because it's eye check now. So as I'm using it, if I want to add here, again, I'm going to go railing, architecture, railing. Now when I fire the railing up, make sure you use the right one, which is eye check, pick, hover, tab, pick. So now when I hit finish, now that's added to our, to our quantity. Back to the railing schedule, and you'll see there it is. We have railings one, two, and three. We have 3,614 feet of uh, railing. Now, in reality, you wouldn't have used railing, but you get the idea. So there you go. There's a tip on how to use uh, the database to help you quantify information. Uh, I could then turn this off or delete it real quick. I just hit delete, and we're good to go. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Have a good day.